from fabulously creative welcome back to my channel and today I will be finishing my mini envelope album it is almost done I just have to put the cover or put a put a spine and a cover on it but I hope you have been enjoying these process videos I did process videos for for the last the last few but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put the cover on and let me show you. I've already cut the pieces and also did uh, another mini envelope album. Um, I'll leave the link in the description box, but I'll be showing you how to put the cover on a different way. The other one, I used two envelopes. This one, I will be using the regular way, but I've cut my pieces of chipboard and this is the cover, the papers that I will be using. So I am going to speed this up and let's get started. Thank you. 
this part instead of the double stick tape because the double stick tape was just going to be too hard to work with but basically I stuck the first part down and then got my bone folder and pushed it into that crack like that to make sure it folds before you stick everything else down. Then I'm going to push it down and I'm do, I'll do the same thing when I get to the next fold. Basically, you just want to push the uh, push the paper into that crease. And that makes that helps it open and close. All right, let me make sure it folds both ways. And that is a little binder. I could have pushed that crease a little bit more because that part, let's see. I'm just trying to see which part I'm going to use as the front, like whatever part opens correctly. Open this and push it down a little bit more. All right, and here is. And I don't know if you can see, I made the spine a little bit bigger than the actual width because I wanted the book to actually be actually be able to close. If I measured it from there, like it wouldn't be able to close. But since I did that, I'm going to have to glue it to the bottom and not both sides. So, first thing I'm going to do is, I guess I'll just cut these extra flaps. Cut it a little bit smaller. And I'm just eyeballing it. I don't want to cut it. There we go. I didn't want it to hang off the edge. And I'm going to put a little piece of... Actually, I should use the stronger tape. And I'm only putting it on the outside because I don't want the inside to get all sticky as it moves. I didn't like smush it together because I want everything. Let me see. You can see like it still has room to open up as you flip it. And that is about it. I'm just going to glue this to the bottom. 